Hey, it's Glenn the Ball Chef, and today I'm putting together a special dish for St. Patty's Day. It's coming up here quite soon, and it incorporates everything that you'd want in St. Patty's Day. It's got beer, which we're going to be using Guinness, and it's going to be an Irish stew featuring a, a uh, broth made with Guinness beer. So I'm going to show you how to put this traditional Irish stew recipe together. I think you'll find it quite good, easy to put together, and it's a little bit different than your standard uh, corned beef and cabbage. So uh, I want you to give it a, a look, see? And if you like it, you might want to give it a try. Now this recipe is has some twists and turns to it. Instead of using uh, regular beef, I'm going to use corned beef. So uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this corned beef, take some of the fat off of it, cut it up into about one inch cubes, and uh, after I've got this uh, corned beef prepped up here, I'll show you the next step. All right, we have now cut up our corned beef. We're going to season this corned beef up with some cracked black pepper, about 15 rotations or so. Something like that and uh, about a tablespoon and a half of salt and then we're going to put in about a half a cup of flour and we're going to flour up this uh, corned beef so that we can uh, brown it off. We'll mix this up, I'll come back and show you the next step. Okay we've got our stock pot uh, filled with about uh, four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Uh, we're going to put this on uh, medium-high heat and the first step is we're going to put two tablespoons of crushed garlic to flavor all the oil and then we're going to add in our floured corn beef and we're just going to simply brown this off We sear in all of the precious juices. This uh, meat comes out very tender and juicy at the end. So after I have all this loaded up in here, I'm going to brown this meat off and uh, I'll come back and show you the next step. All right, we now have our meat fairly well browned off here. What we're going to do is just put in one container of uh, tomato paste into this. Something like that. And to that we want to add about a tablespoon of paprika. And what they call this is a pickling spice. We'll just call it the leprechaun's pot of gold, which is just some pickling spices we're going to put in here with this. And it comes with the uh, corned beef. And then I'm going to put in some gems. This is a very interesting can. It has nitrous oxide in there that when you open the can it energizes it. This is a tall boy we're putting in here. We're going to put two of these in here. And once we have all of this, you see that, that's that oxide, nitrous oxide or whatever it is, activating the foam in our Guinness. What we'll do now is we'll just give this leprechaun stew with all of its magical powers a little uh, stir here to infuse the uh, tomato and we're going to put this on uh, just a slow simmer for about an hour and a half on, on low heat. We'll come back here in a little bit and uh, we'll add the uh, rest of the ingredients. So let's just turn this down here and let this go here. All right, the uh, corned beef is getting tender. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take two russet potatoes that we've uh, peeled and cut up. We're gonna put that right into the uh, stew here. And along with that, we've got uh, one onion that we've chopped up. We're going to put 
put that in there. I'm gonna let this cook for about 12 minutes or so. And when we get back here, we'll put the, the final vegetable selection in here. Let's stir this up. Looking pretty darn good. What we'll do is we'll add a little bit of uh, celery seed to this. About three quarters of a tablespoon. We'll let this cook here until these potatoes are done. We'll come back and we'll put the final selection of veggies in and finish this leprechaun's delight off. All right, the potatoes are almost cooked. Put in some uh, dried parsley, about a tablespoon and a half, two uh, stalks of uh, celery, and uh, two chopped up carrots, and a half of a head of cabbage that we've cut up and cleaned. We're gonna put that in there. And uh, stir this around a little bit. So all kind of blend down. Let's see vegetables cook. We'll let this go here for uh, about uh, 10 more minutes. Come back and uh, we'll take a look at the final product. All right, well, all the uh, vegetables are now cooked al dente and it's time to plate up this uh, Irish stew. Let's uh, go over and take a look at it. All right, there's the finished product. It's the Ball Chef's Irish Corn Beef and Guinness Leprechaun Stew. Let's see how this stuff tastes here. Got a nice little piece of uh, corned beef in there, some veggies. A little bit of that broth, wow man. Tender, great way to serve corned beef. Give it a try. I tell you what, you folks out there have a safe and happy St. Patty's Day. Uh, thanks for watching, and as always, bon appetit.